But in the Commonwealth Games four years ago, he almost brought himself undone as he came up against Jesse Sargent in the final and slowed towards the end. Sargent came back at him. We'll see if Bobridge can hold on and defend that title from four years ago up against the youthful legs of another rider. From, they're both from Adelaide, both from South Australia. But it's Alex Edmondson. So again. this is one of the races we've been waiting for. A gold medal on offer to the Australians. Jack Bobridge and Alex Edmondson. One will finish with silver. One will get the top prize of gold. Teammates, friends, they've probably been roommates over the journey as well, travelling away with Australian teams. But now they've got to fight it out. A genuine title fight. Gold medal. Green and gold. Ready to go. Both Australians away safely. Bobridge moving into his work on the left of screen there. It is Alex Edmondson, the 20-year-old, trying just to climb his way into a gold medal. This is Bobridge heading straight down the line towards us as Edmondson gets around the corner as well. And this is going to be tooth and nail, almost nothing in it right from the start. Well, Edmondson, the world champion, up against Bobridge, the world record holder. You could not have wished for a greater battle. Two Aussies doing battle on the boards of Glasgow. That's Edmondson, top of the screen. Jack Bobridge at the bottom, slightly slower at the start. I'm not surprised by that at all. Edmondson, perhaps the faster of the two in the early couple of laps. We'll talk about the gear ratios, though, of Jack Bobridge. Once he gets that motor up and going, he is a V12 diesel. It's going to be very difficult for Edmondson, the world champion, to hold him off, but he'll do his best. Jack Bobridge came to prominence in 2009, winning an under-23 time trial at the World Championships. Really put him on the radar. Rides for the pro team of Belkin on the road. He's able to mix up the road and also the track as well. Alex Edmondson, we've seen his sister, Nettie, secure a medal tonight as well as silver medal and the mental strength, one of his big keys, Alex Edmondson. So Edmondson is wearing the number four. He's at the top of the screen. Bobridge wearing the number two. And the coaches, of course, dancing. Cats on a hot tin roof. Well, it's Tim Decker looking after Jack Bobridge, doing his time splits and schedule. He's at the bottom of the track. And Matthew Gilmore is the coach looking after Alex Edmondson. Neck and neck at the moment. You really can't uh, pick who's going to be able to ride away with this one. After the first kilometre, it was only 0.2 of a second, the difference between them. How many kilometres of training have they done together? How many rides on the road and on the boards? They will know each other's strengths and weaknesses so well, but one of them will secure a gold medal. The other will go home with a silver from the men's 4,000 metre individual pursuit. Right here, this race, right now, bragging rights on offer, and Bobridge at the moment appears to have just the slenderest of leads. World record holder, four minutes and 10 seconds for Jack Bobridge at the Australian Championships back in 2011. Don't expect him to get anywhere near that time. But he does have a slender advantage over Edmondson. It's great to see Jack Bobridge back on the boards. He has had a two year hiatus since the London Olympics and a silver medal in the team pursuit. Bobridge took out the title in Delhi. He's looking to defend that title now, right on the boards. The Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome in Glasgow. A little grimace on the face of Jack Bobridge now. You can see the cheeks puffing as well as he's trying to get some more oxygen in. Gap opening out to 1.5 seconds. This is Edmonton on screen now. Is it a grimace or a smile? I think it's a grimace. It was certainly a grimace. You can see the sweat building on the calves, no doubt about it. Jack Bobridge, though, with a lead now that's getting up towards two seconds. This will be hard for Edmondson to reel in. He's going to have to bring an A game in the latter stages of this 4,000 metre individual pursuit. Oh, just the strength of Bobridge to maintain this speed. Edmondson, he knows exactly where he sits on the track. The coach is telling him that Bobridge is up. You have to lift if you want to try and win this gold medal. And the facial expression there on Jack Bobridge. He's now got a large enough advantage that he can just look with his peripheral vision across the track and see that he is in front of Edmondson. That's that carrot now. He's going to go out after him. And with 500 metres only to go, Jack Bobridge knows that he has enough of a buffer, enough of a lead over his teammate. And the bell lap comes. 
Well, the defending champion in the individual pursuit, silver medalist from the London Olympics in the team pursuit. He's already a gold medalist here in Glasgow in the team pursuit as well. Great to see Jack Bobridge back on the road to gold. Jack Bobridge rounds the corner for the final time and Jack goes back to back. Jack Bobridge, gold medal in Glasgow, defending his title, 31 in Delhi in the men's 400 metre individual pursuit. A marvellous effort from Jack Bobridge. Two gold medals from two nights for Jack Bobridge. A commanding performance and you can see that grimace is trying to turn into a smile and finally he salutes the crowd. But that is a man who is spent. There's the silver medalist, Alex Edmondson. So two silvers for the Edmondson family tonight with Annette and Alex both securing silver in the individual pursuits. The 3,000 in the women and 4,000 in the men. Jack Bobridge, give the thumbs up. Let's go back to the start. This is the way they jumped out. That was a very good start by Bobridge as well. I was expecting Edmondson to have that little bit of an advantage in the opening laps, and he did, but it was only 0.2 of a second. So Jack getting that big gear up and going nice and early. And just like a steamroller, he just goes lap after lap and does not slow down. Fantastic performance. Jack is back on the boards. Good to see. And when you talk about his experience riding on the road and then coming back to the boards of the velodrome, He's really mixed and matched a fair way since Delhi and now has concentrated obviously much of his work on the uh, the velodrome and the rewards are there. Two gold medals for Jack Bobridge so far. Yes, a couple of more events still to come for Bobridge. Points race, scratch race events still to come. A lot more random though, but just the uh, strength of Jack could go for another medal in either of those other events. Punching the air there for Jack Bobridge. So Jack Bobridge there just up. The Australian crowd as well. And you can see uh, the green and gold. Plenty there. Well, that's uh, Jack's father in the background there in the yellow shirt, Carl Bobridge. Made the uh, trip across. Congratulations from Tim Decker. No bad feelings all around there. Gold and silver for the Aussie boys. Just a, it's just a title fight. It's a battle, isn't it? They both go in there. They know what the expectations are. And Alex Edmondson and Jack Bobridge will both be making their way downstairs to Tim Gossage in just a moment. The time really becomes irrelevant. Jack Bobridge in a 4.19.650, considering the Commonwealth Games records at a 4.14, and the world record, which Jack Bobridge holds as well, is at a 4.10. So Bobridge and Alex Edmondson. As they come across, we know Tim Gossage is downstairs. And Goss, we've had a, a few medals tonight. This is another silver, another silver to the Edmondson family. And you're with Alex.